Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Marvel Legends MCU First 10 Years Red Skull with Electronic Tesseract, the San Diego Comic Con 2018 exclusive from Hasbro. That's right, my friends. Special thanks to Hasbro for sending this song a little early so we can get a good look at it outside of the packaging and check out that box. Very, very cool packaging there that looks sort of like the security case holding the Tesseract inside. It has Velcro flaps on the front that you can open forwards, revealing a window box that fully showcases the brand new Red Skull action figure and a life-size electronic Tesseract. How amazing is that? So one of the things I want to show you guys with that Tesseract is when you pull it out of the box, it's actually in an acrylic case, which is pretty neat. You can remove the plastic Tesseract from that acrylic case. It's got a little bit of tissue paper wrapped around it, but all you got to do is pull that off and that thing is pretty sweet. We're going to come back to that because first I want to jump right in and take a look at our Red Skull figure outside of the packaging. So, of course, this is for the 6-inch scale Marvel Legends lineup. And you can see Red Skull here stands right at 6 inches tall. And this is part of that new first 10 years uh, anniversary lineup where they're going back and they're giving us some really nice new versions of a lot of these characters from the various MCU movies. Red Skull is one of those that really desperately needed an action figure. And now that Hasbro is doing the real scan technology, look at the head sculpt on this. It is amazing. This is the Red Skull figure I feel like I have wanted for quite some time. Has a great likeness to the way he appeared in the film. It is an amazing deco on there. The paint job is awesome. Some nice black dry brushing happening on in there with the mixing with that deep red. Oh, it just looks great. And then his military jacket that he's wearing over his uniform. You can see he's got the Hydra logo in bright red on the shoulder over here on the left. He's got the same Hydra insignia right there on his belt. The lower portion is made of kind of that more softer pliable plastic. You can see it's an extra piece that they put over the top. But the whole jacket and everything up here, this is all part of his torso sculpt. Uh, and it's just a really nice looking figure. I love the glossy black boots and also some of the gloss used on the line work on the legs there. That really makes it stand out from the flat blacks that are used on the rest of it it's just a really terrific looking figure so let's talk articulation so we know what we've got going on here you can see that head is on a joint that allows it to swivel left and right it doesn't really move up and down too much it doesn't look like it's ball jointed or at least the sculpt prevents it but there's a hinge joint there on the neck so that does allow the head to move up and slightly backwards so pretty good all in all you do have the nice joints at the shoulders allow the arms to go outwards forwards and backwards we've got swivels at the bicep on red skull we got double joints at the elbows for a good range of motion there swivels at the wrists uh does look like yep we do have the hinge joints in there as well they're a little tight so you gotta work them loose a little bit uh you'll notice that red skull's right hand is sculpted in that open pose uh, of course that's going to be for holding on to his accessory but also looks good for some of the poses you can get with him ball joint at the torso so that can roll his body all the way around swivel left and right there uh the lower portion of his jacket is definitely going to hinder the movement he's got the hinge joints at the thighs which you can see under there uh you're not gonna be able to get widespread outwards too much but forwards and backwards is still pretty good double joints at the knees there as well um you can swivel those legs up there at the thighs and then you've got the joints at the ankles that just allow the feet to move forwards and backwards as well as rock side to side and it's nice and tight articulation so it works out really good especially for like a jacket wearing you know military guy he's not going to be needing to do a lot of dynamic poses i wouldn't think uh, but like i said i do love this open hand because even though it's for his accessory i mean you can get some really cool poses of him looking like he's given some speeches or something like that so that is pretty sweet but of course he does come with his own little cosmic cube the tesseract um so that is pretty sweet just a little blue plastic we've seen stuff like this before in marvel legends and he can rest it right there in his hand so he can hold on to it perfect accessory for this figure so the figure is great. He is fantastic. I absolutely love him. And this right here, well, this is just a bonus. I think this is pretty cool. So let me show you this a little more up close. So like I said, I love that it's got like this acrylic case that you can store it in here. So you can just pop the top off there and then boom, you can pull out your plastic 
Tesseract. And it's pretty cool. It's smooth on the outside, but it's got sculpting on the inside, so it gives it a little bit of texture. And it does have a light-up feature. So in order to do that, you actually have to separate this. It actually comes in two. So there's some little pegs that are holding it in place. you got to find the right spots there. There we go, just like that. So you look at this. You can break the Tesseract open, and oh, look. An infinity stone lies within. How cool is that? Obviously, we wouldn't see that until many, many movies later. So I thought that was neat that they worked that in with this. And this is also where the light feature is, as well as the battery. So since it's see-through, you can see the electronics and the batteries inside. It needs three AAA batteries, which it does not come with. So you'll need to supply those yourself. There's a little button here on the top. So if you press that button, it ignites three bright blue LED lights on the inside. So then you can place it back on the inside there. You can see the kind of shapes right there are meant to hold it in place. So that's really great. Place it back inside. Lock your cosmic key back up with the pegs. And look at that. Now it looks like my cosmic cube, my tesseract is glowing in my hands. It's a really, really fun extra accessory, and I just love that I can always store it here back in this case if I want to. Now, if I want to power that off, I would have to pop it back open and press that button again, and it turns the LED lights off, but otherwise, pretty sweet accessory. So there you guys go. There is a look at the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Marvel Legends Red Skull and Electronic Tesseract. Very special thanks again to the folks at Hasbro for sending this along for the purpose of opening it up for this video. He's available exclusively at the convention and usually they put a limited amount online after the convention at HasbroToyShop.com. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, my friends.